our landlord just raised our rent another $200 for the third time in the past year. And I'm scared. I don't want to put my kids back out on the streets. The Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment, also known as ACE Action, is raising awareness about the thousands of children currently facing displacement from their homes if the state's eviction moratorium isn't extended past June 30. ACE Action says estimates show nearly 700,000 households in California are behind on rent. Especially for single parents, they are more likely to be behind on their rent here in California. But in San Diego, a 60-day extension to the county's eviction ban was approved by the County Board of Supervisors earlier this month, giving local renters extra protection from being evicted. Francisco Dueñas, Executive Director for Housing Now, says families with children are most at risk. And for young people in particular, um, the impacts of an eviction are are very real and long-lasting. Alejandra Mendoza just graduated from Mar Vista High School in Imperial Beach. All I could think about was, what if we're going to be homeless or what am I going to do? I felt like I needed to be the support system for my family. While most seniors are able to enjoy and celebrate their final year in high school, Mendoza and her family have been facing eviction throughout the pandemic. We have been through three eviction notices like from three different landlords. Fortunately, we have fought two of them with the help of ACE. As state leaders debate extending the eviction moratorium, youth across the state are urging the governor to extend the moratorium and improve the state's rental assistance programs to make it easier for families to apply. These are people's lives at stake. And that in itself should frustrate everyone. Alexandra Rangel, KPBS News.